Even my people. Now I've got a question to ask you that I want you to answer in the comments. Is what I'm about to review trying to be a bourbon? Okay, so what I'm trying to review is, what I'm going to review is Ned, an Australian sour mash whiskey. Now last time I checked there were sour mashes but generally bourbons out of Tennessee and people that spelled like this, okay, from the deep south. So I popped a bit, there is no sound of happiness because it's a screw top. Um, the smell of happiness says that this is not a particularly challenging whiskey. There's not a great peatiness in it. It doesn't have the licorice of a Jack Daniels. Okay. It's got the burn of 40%. And I've just noticed the label says it's American Oak Matured. Which has me thinking that these guys are trying to slip under that domain um, registration radar. Okay. Make this put market this in the United States and it'll be a bourbon because it's still to Melbourne. So it can't be a bourbon because the Americans have done a whole legal thing. We're shipping this by the gigalitre. And I think Jack Daniels literally does ship a gigalitre. So the question is whether this whiskey is actually trying to be a bourbon. My opinion is that it is, but it lacks the depth of complexity of, <clears throat> I say, Jack Daniels, despite the fact it's saying that in 2022 it won the International Melbourne International Spirits Competition Australian Whiskey of the Year. Now, product disclosure notice, there's about to be a masterclass of Amber Lane. And the reason why this would have won something in 2022 is because I don't think um, Amber Lane was actually on the market then. Amber Lane, which is significantly more expensive, basically be quite with you, quite honest with you it shits all over this so for me it looks like a bourbon label this is not like I say it's not challenging whiskey uh, it, and it, but it lacks the, the complexity of bourbons it lacks the complexity of Amber Lane and in fact I think that my friend Mick um, produces a more complex Australian whiskey, uh, except that's aged in Cheryl casks, Sherry casks, not Cheryl. Cheryl had nothing to do with it, and this is a, aged in American oak. Um, there's a good chance that the American oak has had something else in it. I don't know. I looked at their website. Their website's not particularly forthcoming. If someone from the company wants to have a chat to me in the comments, more than happy to um, sit corrected and informed. So, for me, yeah, this is trying to be a bourbon, it's failing. But having said that, I shelled out about $60 for this and I'm not unhappy with my purchase. For me, I and we have a crack at making whiskey sours, so you can expect that cocktail coming up. Um, and I'm reasonably certain it would make a pretty workable caribou. So that's what I'd be drinking this with. But yeah, this is Australian Ned, the Australian Sour Mash Whiskey. I'm Odin. Stay tuned. Subscribe for that wonderful masterclass from Rod Berry and lots of other interesting booze. Because let's face it, life's too short to drink dull booze. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you around.